right now I'm, let's say, experiencing my time on Plasma 6. It's not bad per se, but it does leave a lot to be desired. However, there is another desktop I am keeping a very close eye on. That being Cosmic from the guys over at System76. Now, I know I've said this a million times before, but there might be new people here. So as a recap, Cosmic is a Rust-based desktop environment built on the Smithy Whaling Compositor Library, and its applications are built in a Rust GUI toolkit called Iced. And it looks like the alpha is just around the corner. Just not the corner we thought it was going to be. So my last Cosmic video was back in January, and the blog post at the time said this. As you can see, we are getting fairly close to an alpha version of the Cosmic DE. If all goes well, we can release the alpha by the end of March. Right now, it is the 19th of March. I don't know when this is going to be released. Be on the lookout for more updates in February. We'll likely have a lot to talk about. This release is not going to happen in March, but it is going to happen. Just a few days ago, we got the March blog post, Cosmic, more alpha, more fun. In January, we set a goal to release the Cosmic alpha at the end of the first quarter. Cosmic application development had just started around that time. The initial plan was to release the alpha with the same GNOME applications found in the current Pop OS 22.04 and roll out Cosmic apps as they were completed. So for anyone who doesn't know, the current version of Cosmic that they are shipping on Pop OS isn't really Cosmic. It is GNOME with some extensions. Well, exciting news. Cosmic application development has gone much faster and smoother than anticipated. We've nearly completed the terminal and edit, which is their text editor, and have made significant progress on files, their file manager, and the application store. Now for the updated time, this puts us somewhere around late May for the alpha. However, this does not change our overall timeline. The completed release is still expected later this year, along with Pop OS 24.04. Now, before we get into the March blog post, let's jump back to the February one, closing in on a Cosmic Alpha. There is a very good reason why they changed their plans. A lot of the things that were not at all done before are now just finished. Screenshots work exactly like they should. The screenshotting tool is completely done. Cosmic Text, a new Sheep Run Cache feature, was added to Cosmic Text that enhances Cosmic Terminal performance. Text shaping determines the position of a character based on adjacent characters, which enables it to use special glyphs where necessary. With this new feature, shaping is cached to improve performance in rendering repeated shaping operations, resulting in a higher frame rate for Cosmic Terminal. On-screen display, which shows things like the volume, the brightness, whether you have the touchpad on, touchpad off, things like that. All of that, completely done. Now when you maximize a window, there's an animation on the top bar in the dock for when they're disappearing, and then when you go out of maximize to bring them back. Display settings, done. Wallpaper settings, done. There are still things they want to add to display settings like display cloning, but what you need from display settings is now there. Hybrid graphics are almost done. Cosmic works with graphics drivers to provide greater control, predictability, and performance with hybrid graphics. A lot of work was done to maximize performance on systems that use multiple GPUs, primarily things like laptops. Preliminary performance tests look promising, but we're still exploring more ideas to take this further. Cosmic Terminal. Basic features are done, now it's just the additional bells and whistles like multiplexing. Cosmic Edit, the text editor, the core functionality is there, but the file menu and spell check need to be implemented. The tiling applet is still a work in progress, but a lot of the core functionality is already there. Input device settings, basically done. There's just a couple of things they need to iron out still. And things like the file manager, workspaces, login screen, were all in the early design and implementation stages, but they had a good idea about what they were trying to do, and it didn't seem like they were that far away from being in a implemented state. Also, if you happen to be at Linux Fest Northwest in April, Carl Rochelle, the CEO of System76, is going to be there to show off Cosmic. Also, he is going to be holding a talk on Saturday, April 27th at 11am. I will not be there because flying to America is very expensive, but how, how in the world does he keep showing up every single thing I talk about? Neil Gumba is going to be there! Two videos this week! Two videos and Neil shows up out of nowhere! 
And now, let's move back to the March post. More alpha, more fun. Cosmic apps showcase what's possible with the Lib Cosmic widget library, the ICE toolkit, and the Cosmic theming system. They also help demonstrate the long-term vision for the platform, how far they've come. We've decided to delay the alpha release until the core apps reach MVP, minimum viable product, so that they may be included with the initial ISO. Now, what does the alpha release mean? It does not mean the sort of modern video game alpha, where it's basically just a demo. This is an alpha where things are intended to break. During alpha release development, features are created and released with only engineering sign-off. In the interest of rapid iteration between teams, QA and design review is completed after code release. This means breakage is expected it's a feature of moving fast. So if you are running the alpha, there are going to be updates shipped that have not been QA'd and have not gone through design review and they probably will cause issues. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to be crashing every single second. It needs to be stable enough that the developers can actually run it and test it. But expect things that worked before to suddenly break. Cosmic will have at least two alpha releases. After the first beta, features and major bugs are considered resolved and new code requires engineering, QA, and sometimes design sign-off before release. So once the beta comes around, expect things to be in a lot more stable of a state. But also, it's beta software. So... Probably don't run it on production machines unless it is a secondary machine that you're just okay with crashing or it's your main machine and you know what you're getting into. You know that you're getting into a system that is not yet production ready. If I wasn't doing this for content, I would probably wait until Pop West starts shipping Cosmic as the main thing they're shipping before I went and switched over to it. Now, because I do this for content, I'll probably swap a little bit earlier. Now, following up from February, hybrid graphics are still in a state where they need to be improved, but they are considered alpha ready. The tiling applet has been implemented and is basically just ready. Input settings are implemented and basically just ready. The terminal is still a work in progress, but the remaining things at this point are very, very bells and whistles. Things like dropping a file into the terminal is going to give you the file path. If you are running a process from your terminal, something like you have nano open, if you try to close the terminal, it's going to say, hey, are you sure you want to do that? The text editor now has a file menu and they are in the process of adding spell check, but right now, it is not currently fully done. Now, as for the file manager, the MVP designs are done and implementation is underway. And I'll say it again because it's still in the same state it's in. I really don't like the cosmic light theme. I think their dark theme looks incredibly good. But I... Like, it's, it's not blindingly white, right? Like, it, it doesn't look horrible. But I just don't think that what they have going here really works. It needs to go back in the oven. I don't know what the best approach would be. Maybe more of a focus on their accent color or anything besides what's going on here. Obviously, seeing as though this is a whole different toolkit, there are going to be issues theming across the different toolkits. Now you're going to have a desktop that has some GTK applications, some QT applications, and the main applications are all going to be in this Rust-based toolkit called iced but there is going to be a thing that makes it slightly less bad support was added to cosmic's implementation of the xdg desktop portal that enables other applications toolkits to adhere to dark mode light mode and the user's configured accent color light theme support has also been added to cosmic comp for stack headers and tabs so even if the toolkits are going to look completely different which they almost certainly will at least all your applications will use either your dark theme or your light theme. Now, there is a number of reasons why I am excited for Cosmic. One of them is due to the fact that they are clearly experimenting with different things which we're not really sure if they're going to work out that well. 
One of them is window tabs. So there are hacky tools to do this on X11, one of them being tabbed, where you can turn any single window into a tabbed window. So in this case, they have their text editor and Firefox in the same tab block. Over here, we have display settings, and I believe that's probably a terminal in the same block. These blocks can be dragged around. The tabs can be moved around like you would in a browser, for example. And I don't know if I would use this, right? Like, it's not something that I'm used to working with, but I kind of like the idea of adding it to see if it's actually going to be a good idea. The other thing, and far more importantly for me, is tiling. I'm going to keep bringing up KDE every time I talk about this, because what KDE does is not tiling. I don't care how you intellectualize what the definition of tiling is. What KDE does is not tiling. Cosmic is the only desktop environment made by people who actually understand tiling window managers. This is exactly what I'm looking for. And yes, System76 does make PopShell the plugin to run on top of GNOME, which they are shipping right now on PopOS. But by not being tied to GNOME and not being tied to their limitations, this massively expands what they're capable of doing. They can make something from the ground up that is both tiling and floating because they do have a lot of people that use floating. When I had Carl Rochelle on the podcast, he said it was something like 60-40, 60% floating, 40% tiling, which is still a lot of people that want to use the tiling. And they're clearly putting the effort to make the tiling also a good experience. But let me know what you think. Do you care about tiling? Do you care about floating? Is Cosmic the best of both worlds? Or do you think it is going to completely fall apart? I'd love to know. Let me know down below. So if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video, and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out my Patreon, subscribe, silly bear, pay, linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and soon, soon will be Cosmic.